You're very welcome here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala, where we are about to get underway here in the Under 19 B Girls All Ireland Schools League final between Presentation de la Salle of Bagnallstown County Carlow and OLS PCK from Belfast. Belfast side playing in white from left to right there on your screens with de la Salle in black. And I'm joined here by Martin Conroy. Martin, this should be a good game today. Yeah, uh, hopefully I, I saw um, De La Salle play their semi-final, uh, caught the first few minutes of the uh, OLS-PCK game. Um, so, yeah, hopefully it'll be a, a very good game. A couple of National League players uh, on the floor, a couple for uh, the Northern team and a couple for, um, for the De La Salle, or one for De La Salle as well. Very good. Well, it's in the hands of De La Salle here. They managed to keep a hold of it. And a great score there to get the game underway. Yeah, that's uh, Amy Dooley. Fantastic player, Amy Dooley. We've heard a lot about her. Yeah, I'm, I'm lucky enough to coach Amy. Uh, she's had a fantastic run of games for us. Last few games, she had one game in Belfast. She had 13 points and 18 rebounds. Responded in style at the other end, though, by Louisa Donnelly. Good score there from the Belfast player. And a fantastic crowd in here today from Bagnallstown. They must have the whole school with them. Uh, I don't think there's anybody left in the town down there, <laughs> Mary. Good work there by Rachel Sawyer to keep hold of that ball. She gives it across to Anne Roach, who swings it to Neve Roach. Unlucky not to get it, but Neve Ford is there for the rebound. And Dooley just knocks it out of play. Good work there, though. A couple of good offensive rebounds there. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take both teams a little while to settle down. Um, well, our final big occasion for for both teams. Uh, hopefully, we're in for a cracker. Indeed, as Warren McCrainer sets things up there from the point, she tries to slip it inside the De La Salle defense. Just comes off one of the Carlo girls though, so it's going to be a Belfast ball from the baseline, and it is Louisa Donnelly who's inbounding the ball. And De La Salle come out with it. Neve Ford slows things down a bit. Across to Rachel Sawyer. Oh, nice She's move. Nice move, yeah. Good drive inside. It doesn't fall for her. And we're back in the hands of Louisa Donnelly at the other end. She looks for options. She finds it with Kieran McCraner. Oh, lovely score. Yeah, great shot from Kieran McCraner there. Kieran plays with Ulster Rocks in the National League. I watched Rachel Sawyer in their semi-final as well. She was very, very good for Bagnallstown. Yeah, they have a, a couple of nice players there. Here's one of them now indeed, Amy Dooley. Unlucky not to get it in, but great rebounding there. Fantastic work there from Neve Ford to follow up that shot. And it's all square here in the arena. 5.27 left in this first quarter as Donnelly goes for the shot. And it is Doran Sheridan who went for the rebound there, but De La Salle have it. Bit of pressure on Sawyer there, but she held herself well. Yeah, De La Salle have got to go inside to, to Amy. Even if it's a drive and a kick for her, she, like, she'll make baskets if she's around the basket. And she's a bit far out from yeah, it there. Absolutely. Shot clock is winding down, now they've got to get a shot away. The shot clock is there. And we're going for a timeout here with 4.52 in quarter one. It's all square, four apiece.
back here. Welcome back, 4.50 on the clock here in quarter one. And it is four points apiece in this under 19B Girls All-Ireland Schools League final. It is Belfast who are looking for the shot though and a great rebound there from Carlos Nee Ford. She sends it up to Rachel Sawyer who is driving at them. Oh, very unlucky there now, what a nice move. Lovely little Euro step and just unlucky Lovely with the finish. Step, yeah. The speed of Rachel Sawyer is, is a team that catches teams out. Yeah, she's a little flyer there, all right. As Belfast managed to keep hold of the ball there. Good rebounding there by Amy Dooley. Oh, great dispossession there by Maeve Deary. Out to Donnelly. Looks like a jump ball, it is indeed. You mentioned Amy Dooley, she was there already, Martin, but uh, I see a few more of your National League players down there on the sideline. Looks like Megan Campbell is assistant coach for this De La Salle team. Yeah, we got Megan down there. I know her mum, Patricia, is watching in the States as well, so how are you doing, Patricia? And we got Kira McCarthy down there. I know her mum is watching. She watches every school game. So Kira big Kira shout McCarty. out to them. Uh, JB is on a plane to uh, Germany at the minute. JB would normally be there, the, the coach with this team. That's Jemaya Batum. Jemaya, of course, such an instrumental player for ITC Basketball, who yep. won their Division One National League last weekend with a massive win over Ulster Rockets down in Carlo. So congrats, Martin. Thanks, everybody. You're going to be blushing now, Mary. I Thank know, you. Now. But back to this game, and we are in with Amy Dooley. Great score. Nice finish from Amy. That's what they got to do. they got to get the ball inside to her. She's going to be hard to stop. Yeah, she's a danger player in there. Once she gets that ball, there's no stopping her. And she has the height advantage inside there as well. As we're back here with Maureen McCraner. Shot just doesn't drop for her though. Great interception by Kira McRainer. And it's going to be a OLS PCK ball. Yeah, that's the difference in the shots. Like, I mean, you look at the shots that have been taken by OLS PCK. It's, it's three point shots, long twos. Uh, okay if they make a few of them, but De La Salle are, are going to the basket. They're feeding it inside to their tallest player, and that's Amy, and she's making layups. And here is Rachel Sawyer. Swings it over to Roach. Inside to Dooley. A great pass inside and a great score. She could do that all day, Martin. Yeah, no, look, if she gets that close to the basket, she's got good footwork. She's got nice soft hands. She'll finish a lot more than she'll miss. You know, and I'm, I'm going to be the, the commentator's curse here now, but she's, her free throws have come on the last few weeks. So let's hope she can make this one as well. Yeah. She gets the bonus. You didn't jinx her. 2.52 on the clock in quarter one. And it's Donnelly again, who's one of the, the standouts for the Belfast side in this quarter here. She's been involved in every move so far as Maura McCrainer finds Donnelly again. And somehow she manages to keep that ball under control. And a shot goes up here. Oh, what a lovely score. Yeah, Kira McCrainer from, from Elks. Like it, Kira's a good shooter. You, know, you can't leave her open. You gotta put pressure on that shot. 226, and it's a two-point game after that fabulous shot from McCrainer. And it is Rachel Sawyer tries to find Anne Roach. Well, she just that pass is just a little bit too much on it. So we're back up the other side of the court now. And it is Moran McCrainer across to Donnelly. She looks inside, finds the option, comes back out to her though. McCrainer takes it on herself. Lovely score, great score from McCrainer. That's what they have to do against that big zone from, from uh, De La Salle. They have to attack it and you know, make their shots then when they get their opportunities. I see they've kind of nearly double teamed on Amy now. And we have a substitute coming in here for the Belfast team, it's Evie McCarroll. She's coming in for Moran McCrainer. Getting her first touch of the ball there by inbounding it. And they'll be looking to get a couple of more on the board here before the buzzer sounds. We're not too far away from it, 1.37 to go. And it is Amy Dooley. She gives it away there, Kieran McCrainer reading that pass well and taps it out of play. So the sideline ball to Carlo and it's Neve Roach. Gives it in to Sawyer. 
They're looking for Dooley to make that move. Yeah, I think it's a good move by Paddy McGrath to, to drop back into his zone there. And that's going to engage Amy a little bit. Makes it harder for her to get closer to the basket. There you go. That's good defense. I know it's a foul has been called there, but... We got a timeout here for De La Salle, 112 to go in the first, and it's nine points each. Welcome back here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala. We are in 1-12 to go in quarter one of this under 19B Girls All-Ireland Schools League final and it is all square, nine apiece. How are you finding things so far, Martin? Yeah, no, no, it's a good game. They're, they're in fairness, both teams have settled in very quickly. Uh, some nice scores coming in. Defenses have changed from OLS PCK. The shot goes up there and the rebound comes in for um, Rachel Sawyer. Indeed, and it's Sawyer who's bringing the ball back up the court. Setting things up nicely. Oh, good defense there. And he Roach tried to find Amy Dooley. Yeah, they, they got to put that ball in high to Amy. You know, if it goes in high, she's going to get it every time. Donnelly with the shot. Great score. And they've taken the lead with 32 seconds here to go in quarter one. I just watched uh, Paddy McGann's board there during the timeout, and he... He's looking to make sure they collapse in on that on Amy every time they get a, they're on defense. Yeah, they're definitely closing her down a lot better than those opening couple of minutes as Neve Roach put up the shot there. Didn't drop for her though, and it is even McCarroll. For Belfast, Kira McCrainer tries to sneak it inside to McCarroll. Two seconds on the clock. Oh, got lucky there. I mean, it Very she, lucky, she yeah. just went down the floor. And that's it, that's quarter one done and dusted. It's nine points to De La Salle of Carlo and 11 to Belfast. Welcome back here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala, where quarter two is just getting underway in the under 19B Girls All Ireland Schools League final. And a, a very close contest it's been so far, just two points separating the teams as Amy Dooley comes out well with that rebound, fires the ball up the court. Somehow that pass is after making it across to Quivo O'Neill. Foul's called there, and it's going to be a Belfast ball. 
Our ladies doing well there against uh, Amy Dooley. Yeah, they, like I mean, it, they're tough shots for for De La Salle to take. I mean, we know that the game plan for De La Salle is to you know take the rebound, run the floor, try and make fast break layups. But uh, to be fair to um, our ladies, they've done very well uh, getting back in their defense and taking that uh, option out. Dooley again with the rebound. She's got Sawyer on the run if she can see her. Finds it instead to O'Neill, who's fouled. No, called for a travel, sorry. That was unlucky. Ref just bringing the play back to the sideline. And it is our ladies, Donnelly, with the long shot. Doesn't fall for, oh, you could see the idea there, but it just didn't work out. Donnelly's driving back in, Rachel Sawyer. And Rachel did a great job there. Like yeah. Rachel's a great camogie player too. Uh, plays for Carlo. Um, Very good. You can see why how she's such a good athlete. Oh yeah, most definitely. Well, she did great work there. Battling hard for the ball and it paid off. The jump ball went in their favor. So here she is again, setting things up. Neve Roach to Dooley, back to Roach. She takes the shot. Oh, great score. Yeah, that's a good shot, you know I mean? Even if she missed that shot, Amy's in around the basket to rebound, as is Neve Roach. You know, that's a great shot. And it is all square again. 6.36 here in quarter two. Nice shot there, that was unlucky from uh, Number six, Maeve Deary, who plays with Ulster Rockets. Oh, cross-court pass. Intercepted extremely well there by Moran McCraner. She couldn't finish the layup, though. Some of these passes. Yeah, they, like, they're, they're going to get picked off every now and again. You're giving up layups when that happens, you know? Jump ball. It's going to be our ladies' ball. De La Salle just have to get some rhythm into their offense. It's, it's all very rushed and panicky at the moment. They just need to settle down a little. Big occasion for the school here, of course. Massive day for them to be up here. Absolutely, and like Leon Power, the, the school teacher who's with them has done fantastically well to you know, bring in outside coaches and let them help them. Big credit to them. And that's Moran McCraner going up for the shot. Good rebounding there from our ladies, but Rachel Sawyer, whose name is cropping up an awful lot in this in this Ooh. game. She's after driving the whole way up the court, and it looks like she's drawn the foul there as well. She's gone to the line for two now. She nearly made the basket off a tough shot. Misses the first. 5.38 to go in quarter two. And this is the second, but Dooley is there and draws the foul as well. Yeah, it's a good rebound. You know, I mean, uh, our ladies got to do a better job of, of boxing Amy out and not letting her get on the boards like that because she's going to take rebounds all day. She's already got about eight or ten defensive rebounds in the game. Misses her first shot. Oh, and lucky with the second as well. Just rimmed out. She's back working hard on defense, though. You gotta get in around that rim. And Donnelly, the danger player so far for our ladies. McCarroll puts it up. Dooley there to rebound. And it is Neve Roach who slows things down. Gives it back out to Sawyer. To Roach inside to Dooley. A nice, a higher ball in there to Dooley this time. But Donnelly read it well. And it's a battle going on in there under those boards. It sure is. That's a good rebound from uh, Donnelly, Donnelly again. again. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, flying. She, she's played really well. Deering. Neve Deary there with the, the shot from Ulster Oz. Indeed, as Quivo O'Neill gives it to Sawyer, who's dispossessed nicely, but she manages to win, win it back. Testing Donnelly's defense. Now. Good pass. 
Great pass. She got a bit of a, a wallop there as well, Anne Roach did, but she manages managed to sneak it into Dooley, who's just called for the travel there. And we are going for a timeout here with 4.30 on the clock, and it's all square, 11 apiece. Four thirty is what the clock reads here in quarter two in the National Basketball Arena in Tala. Under nineteen B girls, All Ireland League final. Who is going to be crowned champions? As De La Salle of Carlo try to bring the ball out. Great pressure there from Donnelly of Our Ladies as Amy Dooley fires the ball up to Quivo O'Neill. She drives inside, manages to get the ball again, goes up again, still O'Neill finds Dooley oh oh and lucky there now four offensive rebounds in a row you gotta you gotta make one of them you know and great work on, on the last air from uh, number 11 that's Quiva O'Neill she, she's unlucky not to make one of those shots indeed as we're ticking ever so slowly here towards halftime still a draw though who is going to have the edge here as great, great rebounding there from Anne Roach, and it's gone out for a De La Salle ball. Yeah, like they're rebounding well the whole game defensively. They've got to move the ball a little bit quicker up the floor to make sure that they can get easier shots. Dooley across to Roach, inside to Dooley. I don't know how she did it. What a score, wow. Amy Dooley. Little step through two players to finish there. I don't know how she found the space for it, but somehow she did, and what a score it was, as Donnelly at the other end. Dooley again, straight back up from scoring. She's there to rebound as Sawyer, this time, drives. A little bit too much power, but wow, she got some offensive <laughs> rebound <laughs> there. Rebound. <laughs> she jumped so high. When you see the difference there, I mean, she's straight down the floor. There's no hanging around in the backcourt with the ball. It's, it's taking the pressure off them. It's getting it into the front court, and unlucky on the shot. Good game so far. Cracking game, following on from a, a, an absolutely fantastic under 19 B boys final. That had just a point in the difference at the end. And here we go again, Sawyer at pace. Little Euro step again. Yeah, she likes that move. Three offensive rebounds, four yeah, offensive rebounds. The there we go. Well, if you keep giving them the chances, something's going to happen, you know I mean? they. They gave three offensive rebounds in the space of three seconds and he's going to send De La Salle to the line with Amy. Nothing between these two teams just yet. As Dooley misses her first. You know, this can get in your head now if you, if you start missing a couple from the line. I hope she, she's able to get it back under control. That's better. Better shot. Unlucky though. Just comes off the edge of the rim there. Good ball control there by Kira McCrainer. She gives it out to Murren. Back to Kira. Donnelly is calling for it here on the far side. Yeah. Travel there. That was unlucky there from Maeve Deary. And Evine McCarroll is coming back onto the court here for our ladies, checking in in place of Maeve Deary. Oh, it's gone early to Amy this time. A bit too far out from the basket and she wants to get a bit closer. Indeed, she finds Neve Roach. They give a high one into Dooley again. A little bit more work to do. 
She gets her rebound, great score. That's awesome, I mean, I mean tricky cross court pass, maybe not the best idea, got away with it, but then gets her own rebound for the, for the layup to give her side a four point lead. And she's protecting the rim the other end. They, they can't get an inside shot. Everything they're taking is outside. Yeah, that's super work. One end of the court to the other. Just great travel there, though. <laughs> that's what they call the commentator's players. curse I know, right I tend there. to do it. I may stay quiet. 15-11 is the score, and 145 is what is on the clock in this second quarter. And it's Donnelly. Outside to Doreen Sheridan. Back to McCarroll. Inside Sheridan. Don't leave her open. A good shooter is Kira. Good shooter is right. That one didn't drop for her now. And it's Quavo O'Neill driving up the court. And that's the way to drive to the basket. You know, full full pace. Player steps across your patch, you're gonna get the foul. You're gonna have an end line ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fine, Dooley. There she goes. Now. Call for a travel. Tough call. Unlucky. 115 is what we've left to play That's in this quarter. Good job from Kira. A little drive in, kick out oh, for three. Great score there from Warren McCrainer, it looks like. Lovely three-pointer. We've seen some really nice shooting here from the outside great, from these teams. Great pass from Rachel Sawyer there. Just uh, unlucky that Anne Roach couldn't hold on to it. We're Kira again. Oh, yeah, she's a little flyer. That one unlucky again, Amy Dooley. Sawyer's on the run. Did Un well to get the shot away. And somehow gets her own rebound yet again. Going to be a De Salle ball with the, the arrow. Megan Campbell's looking for a timeout down there on the sideline. Yeah, and she's asking it. the referee for a timeout. She's not in the States now. <laughs> <laughs> 37 seconds to go, just one point between the teams. Thirty-seven seconds to go here, and just one point separating the teams. De La Salle will be looking to get a basket there, but it just dropped short there for Roach, and our ladies are on the attack again. Finds Sheridan. Sheridan again. Good rebounding there from Anne Roach. She sends it up the court. Oh. Unlucky there from Quivo O'Neill. It was a great move by De La Salle. Nine seconds. He's going to jack it up with a second to go. Donnelly. Gets it away. Oh, unlucky. It is 15-14 here at the end of quarter two.
Welcome back here to the under 19B girls All Ireland School Leagues final, where it is presentation de la Salle of Bagnall Sound County Carlo on 15 points and our ladies of Belfast on 14. Game number two, of course, of a busy day, another busy day of schools finals. Today is the last day of the All Ireland Schools League finals, and we've two more games coming up, two cracking games coming up. Um, a double cork header in the next game. Presentation brothers of Cork facing Kalash uh, Cullum of Ballon College in the under 19A boys final. And then St. Joseph's, the Bishop of County Galway against St. Malachy's of Belfast as Sawyer storms to the basket there for De La Salle. What a great score, Martin. Yeah, she just did, like, she did really well. She got out really fast on the fast break. Last couple of steps, slowed herself down. Nice soft finish. And just uh, just looking at some of the, the stats from halftime, Amy Dooley is the top scorer at the moment for De La Salle. She's got 11 points, whereas over on the other side, it's Kira McCrainer with eight. Here she is now, just slips outside that baseline though, unfortunately. Um, definitely the two we would have picked out as, as the scorers though of that half. Absolutely, like Kira has been super for her team. She not only has scored eight points, but she's made about another six with her little driving and kicking. And Louisa O'Donnell, is it? Has, Louisa Donnelly, yeah. Yeah, has done very well as well for, for our ladies. Yeah, she's four points to her tally already. As Dolly, Don, or Dooley rather, sneaks inside. I'm getting my Donnellys and Dooleys confused here. It doesn't fall for it all, but a great shot there by Quivo O'Neill following up. And it's a five-point game all of a sudden. Yeah, but again, it's the second opportunity. You know, the, the rebound comes from Dooley, goes outside, and a great shot from from uh, Quivo there. Donnelly fires it across to McCreener. Oh, unlucky there. I don't think she was expecting that pass even. She has it back again though. McCreener somehow keeps a hand of it, gives it across to Moran. Louisa Donnelly, oh, shot clock violation. Yeah, ball didn't touch the rim even though the shot went up. So it's gonna be a De La Salle ball. And it is Sawyer McCreener's coming up a little bit higher on her here now just to try and put some pressure on her, but Sawyer is not bothered whatsoever and sends a nice pass out there to O'Neill who tries the long shot. And Sawyer goes for it herself now, Sheridan rebounding well. McCreener spins around, finds Moran. Yeah, De La Salle don't want to get sucked into playing that outside shooting game. You know, they, they got to go inside. That's where they do all their hard work. Unlucky there from Moran McCreener. Went up for the shot there. O'Neill to Sawyer. Neve Roach was calling for it the other side. She got it, and boom. She wanted that one. Great three from Neve Roach. Eight point lead all of a sudden. Yeah, she was roaring for it, and Sawyer gave it to her, and what a finish. Donnelly pivoting, 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 looking for the option. Sheridan gives it to her. Donnelly to McCreener. Nice little step inside. Shot doesn't come off though, and a battle there. Yeah, it's beautiful footwork from, from Kira just to get herself open for that shot, and lucky with the finish. Maeve Deary coming back in here for McCarroll for our ladies, as it's going to be a baseline ball, and it looks like another sub is coming in here. Helen Roach. No, she's not coming in just yet. So, our ladies. Inbounding the ball here, Donnelly inside to Deary. Deary with the shot. And De La Salle come out with it, driving up the core, Quivo O'Neill. Oh, great job, great drive. What a drive, and she's drawn the foul as well, and she's headed to the free throw line. You see Paddy McGann talking to one of his players there. And Helen Roach is now on the court. She's replacing Anne Roach. As O'Neill gets the first one. Quite a flat shot there. Yeah, Martin. it's very flat. The, you know, but once it goes in Doesn't that little round thing, in. that's all that matters. <laughs> there we go. As a good friend of mine once said, there's no pictures on the score sheet, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is Donnelly now. Over to Moran McCreener. Outside to Deary. Doesn't shoot. 
you, you can see, Mary, like every shot that they're taking is a tough shot because of the the, the size and I mean height of De La Salle. They're, they're doing really, really well closing out those those two point shots. Bit of a press there by our ladies and uh, Quivo O'Neill read it well and got up there to help out. And we're back over with Neve Roach. Dooley just spun away from her there. And our ladies have it with Maeve Deary. Over to Donnelly. Good D again. Great D. They're closing Donnelly down immediately. McCreener out to McCreener. Unlucky there. Louisa Donnelly keeps it in play though. Drives herself Great to Sheridan. Pass. Great pass. Unlucky. And Dooley there. Proving her worth under those boards yet again as Sawyer takes the ball up the court. Roach is showing for it again on the far side if Sawyer can swing it around to her. I'm trying to front Amy now and just take her, make them make the pass over. Great shot again. Cueva O'Neill is on fire here at the moment. Cueva's come up with five points in the last three or four minutes. 3.45 is what's on the clock here in quarter three, 26-14. And a foul called. Yeah, that one's going to be on Helen Roach. I think she just reached in as the player went past. Uh, timeout coming now from coach Paddy McGrahan. And the score with 3.38 to go in the third quarter is 26, De La Salle, 14, Our Ladies. Welcome back here, we're in quarter three, 3.38 on the clock as our ladies of Belfast, Louisa Donnelly is set to inbound the ball here, finds McCreener to Moran McCreener. She looks for the shot, just a little bit too short, Donnelly. Just outside of her range there a bit as we're on the fast break here with De La Salle. Great defense there by McCreener, but it comes back to Dooley. Left hand scoop. And just doesn't drop for her. That was unlucky. Was unlucky. Kieran McCrainer. Oh. Sawyer. Speedy Gonzalez here up the court. There she goes again. Uh, she, the, the, the defensive player had about three feet in front of her. And within two dribbles, she was gone past. Great finish as well from Rachel Sawyer. Yeah, well, he said she's a camogie player as well. I wouldn't fancy chasing up a, a, a pitch after her either. She's an absolute flyer. Great pass inside there. Oh, unlucky Stay there. They playing. Nearly travelled. Bit of a mix up there between Sawyer and O'Neill, but it's all all right. Sawyer has it. Gives it down to O'Neill. She takes the shot. Another offensive rebound. Oh, unlucky there from Neve Roach. Stolen well by Donnelly. Spins it round her back. Yeah, Donnelly looks like a very confident player. Yeah, she really does. Foul there on Sheridan. She looks a little bit, def you know, deflated at the moment, but there's loads of time left in this game. Definitely, we've seen it so many times this week. And indeed, we just saw it in the last game this morning as well. The lead can swing in the space of a second. What a game that was. Cracking game. Again, there's your rim protector again, just getting the, the hand in the face, making the shot more difficult. Ah, uh, Sawyer. Just great play. Again, just pops out of bounds there for her, but... 
And it is McCarroll coming back in here in place of Moran McRainer for our ladies of Belfast. Again, Moran has done really well for her team, taking some good options and, and worked hard on defense. Donnelly with the shot. Oh, lovely shot for three. He just stepped into it in rhythm. Nice flow to the shot and a good finish. Now they need to get a stop. Sawyer battling hard and gets the pass off. Dooley. What a spin move. Un unlucky. Look at how hard they fight, Mary. The body's on the floor. <laughs> it's not pretty at times, but it's, it's really, really good work from, from both teams, not just from, from one team. And it's Donnelly again, indeed, as you said, battling hard. 108 to go, an All-Ireland title at stake. They will be giving 120% here to be bringing that coveted cup back home to their school and it is Dooley lovely ball inside Sawyer but she's called for the travel and we're setting things back up here again 58 seconds here in quarter three Donnelly out to McCarroll back to Donnelly takes the shot well, Rachel did really well top of the key there, just making that shot a little bit more difficult than it could have been. Helen Roach rebounding well for Carlo. Unlucky with the layup, but Quivo O'Neill, who has been playing so well today, was there for the follow-up and will go to the line for two. quivo has been fantastic in this quarter. She's already got five points. She's rebounding. Go on the line now to see if she can... Just a little bit quick on that one. Needs to slow the shot down a little bit. Yeah, as you said, plenty of time. Lovely. 37 seconds to go, it's a 12 point game. And it's Donnelly to McCreener. We've seen her shooting all day today. McCarroll back to Sheridan to McCreener inside. Oh, good defense, Amy Dooley. Pass away. Gets it up the court. Up again to Roach, foul. 16 seconds to go, and Roach will be going to the free throw line. A nice move up the court there by Carlo. Yeah, maybe one extra dribble that she didn't need. It was, she could have the layup a little bit easier, but good ball movement, good finish. Um, this kid coming off the floor here, Kira McRainer. She, yeah, she's what a, a game she's having. Lovely player. And it, I always think that left-handed players look more elegant or something when they're playing this game. Like the senior shoot the ball, she's been really good today. Yeah, replaced there by Moran McRainer. As those free throws don't find their mark, unfortunately. And Donnelly to McRainer to Donnelly. Takes the long shot. Five seconds. And it's going to be a De La Salle ball, which I would imagine our ladies are going to pressure. He's got to heave it up. He's got to aim it. Don't get caught in the backcourt. That's okay, that's okay. There we go, that's the buzzer. 29-17 is the end of quarter three.
Quarter four is where we are at the National Basketball Arena in Tala in this under 19B Girls All-Ireland Schools League final. Just eight minutes till we find out who is going to win that All-Ireland title as foul is called there on Cuiva O'Neill. Yeah, again, Cuiva making a tough move to the basket, so they're going to get their, their stack set now to look for Amy, to, to look for a clear out, and Amy coming to the basket off the back of this. There she is. Looked like she got fouled with no call. Great drive by McCraner to Kira McCraner to Deary to Donnelly with the shot and misses it. Rebound is going to be uh, Our Lady's ball. Oh, sorry, no, he's changed his mind. It's going to be a uh, De La Salle ball. Finding it hard to get it in, just throw it up in the air and Amy nearly came up with it. Good steal there though by Evie McCarroll. There's Inside to McCreener. And she takes the steal again. Did really well there, Kira McCreener. Yeah, she's been so good for them today. As has Sawyer at the other end. It doesn't drop for her, but she's been instrumental. Yeah, a little bit off balance on that one, but did really well to get the shot away. Donnelly just can't get through that Carlo wall there. And a good steal here by Sawyer again. Don't you see the open player? Good defense from the trainer. Great defense, all ball there. Sawyer gives her nod of approval to referee Paul Dempsey. <laughs> and it's Sawyer into Roach outside. To Helen Roach, doesn't fall for her though. So. McCreener is going to set things up at the other end here. Moran, that is. Kira manages to do just enough there on the baseline to keep it a Belfast ball as Deary looks for an option. She's stuck there with Amy Dooley, but she gets it out to McCreener. That was a chance for you know, for our ladies to go to the middle when they, they sucked Amy out of the middle. Big wide open space that they just didn't see it in time. The creator to Donnelly. Tried to get it inside, but good hands from Dooley. Roach had Sawyer ahead of her. Sawyer there for the rebound. Donnelly did well to keep control. Even oh, McCarroll. nice move. A little bit scrappy here now. As McCarroll down to Deary. Deary takes it on herself. Comes face to face with Dooley and decides against it. Right decision. I've done that at practice a few times. It is a good decision. <laughs> McCreener. More in McCreener. She's got Donnelly wide open. She's got to give her the pass, but. Here in McCreener. Back to Moran. We need to do something here. The clock is coming down. Deary. Unlucky. McCarroll. Great rebounding again by McCarroll. Finds Donnelly inside. Lovely score. Back to a 10 point game. And a timeout for De La Salle. 29 19. 5.38 to go in the fourth.
Back here in quarter four, 5.38, Martin here on the clock. 10 point game, it's still far, far too early to be calling this though. Yeah, the good finish there and just in the last play from Louisa O'Donnell, uh, or Donnelly. Um, and they've got a steal again now and they're looking to Maeve Deary. Deary gets the open shot. Good rebound again though. The, the, the boards, the, the defensive rebounds from uh, De La Salle, Bagnastown have been, have been superb. They, they've maybe given up about four or five offensive rebounds to uh, our ladies in the whole game. Ball goes in high to Amy Dooley. She gets control. Passes to Sawyer. Sees the long pass inside. Roach on the layup. Great score. That's Helen Roach. Pushes the lead out to 12 points again with 5.15 to go. A lot of contact of a, there. Yeah. yeah. Incidental contact. Oh, no, of think, course. Think we call that? <laughs> <laughs> Substitution here for De La Salle. It is Anne Roach checking in for Helen Roach. Yeah, Helen's done a really good job for her team there. As the full court pressure comes on now from Paddy McGahan. He's just called a timeout. 4.59 to go, 31 19 in favor of De La Salle. Four fifty nine here on the clock in quarter four. Thirty one nineteen is what the scoreboard reads. De La Salle of Agnonstein County Carlo in the lead. As McCreener intercepts that pass there, gives it off to Kira McCreener. Dribble away. Foul is called on Maeve Deary. Uh, De La Salle have got to make sure now that they don't get sloppy when this uh, full court pressure comes on. Try and get the ball to the middle of the floor and, and make easy passes. Ref just calls it back there. Just bringing the play back a little bit from the line. As Carlo keep the pressure up. Cuivo O'Neill, who's been fantastic today. Yep, absolutely Foul's has. going to the net there. This really has been super. She's going to the line again, Quiva. She she's made good decisions. Like she's gone to the basket when she needs to. She got one open look and she made that shot. First one's good. There's a a list of names here though, Martin, that we could really read read out that have been great for both teams today. Yeah, it, like the, the scoreline in the game doesn't really show what the game has been. It's been a great game of basketball. It mightn't be high scoring, but the work rate and the, the, the intensity from both teams has been superb. Indeed, and our ladies just a little bit unlucky with some of their shots. Again, I don't know that 19 is a scoreline that does them justice either. Absolutely as McCreener doesn't. corrects that rapidly with a great three-pointer. See, if they're going to press, you got to stop Rachel. And stop her, they did. She gets it back, though. You know, she made a great drive there. She just gets her head up a little bit quicker. She sees the player on the other side is wide open. She's got a layup there. But that's just experience of playing at this yeah, level, I suppose. Yeah, I was just going to say, it'll come with time. She's done well. Unlucky that the jump ball went the other way, but yeah, absolutely. great to see such fight and spirit. 3.53. Can Carlo hold on? 
Out to Donnelly, she goes for the shot. Dooley is there to rebound, so many rebounds today. She's got to run the floor now and help her teammate. Does so. And O'Neill, uh, unlucky, just took it a little bit quick maybe, as McCreener comes back up. The two McCreeners have been great for our ladies today. There you go, wow. That's two trees in a row for McCreener. Both the Kira ball. and Warren, great. And there you go again, she does it on defense. She's trying to lift her team up by the bootlaces and get them back in this game, and she's doing a good job of it. She really is. It's a time for leaders to stand up, and she's definitely one of them. As O'Neill's shot rebound. just doesn't come off duly there. Looks for the bank shot, is not there. As Kieran McCreaner sends it up to Donnelly. She goes for the three. Yeah, I don't think she needed to pull up for that tree. She could have went maybe a little bit further. Rachel saw a great dribble. Oh, That's the pass I'm talking about, Mary. That. Great rebound. That's the pass I'm talking about. She sucked in the defense, got the pass away, and was there to rebound. Great job from Rachel Sawyer. Yeah, she's just been the liveliest spark on the court today. Unfortunately, that's going to be five fouls on Maeve Deary. She fouls out of the game. And it is Sheridan. Darren Sheridan that checks in. I like that name, Darren. My, my daughter's name is Darren. <laughs> You'll have her playing for one of these teams, yes? I think she'll have me playing the way she's going at the minute. Sawyer got the first, but just couldn't get the second one to drop for her. Comes up with a steal. She's going to go to the line again because of foul trouble for uh, oh, yeah. our lady. So they're in team fouls now, 2.35 to go. Looks like we're headed for a timeout. If the refs see it, yep, they do indeed. 2.35 to go, 34.25. Rachel Sawyer of Presentation, De La Salle, Bagnellstown, County Carlo is on the line here. 2.35 on the clock, gets the first one. <laughs> 10 point game. If they can do that, if they can make one from two from here for the rest of the game, they're gonna win the game, I think. McCreener up to Moore and McCreener. The two of them have just been great for our ladies today and Donnelly. Absolutely, yeah. Lovely shot there. Just has a little bit too much on it though. And As McCreener and Sawyer battle it. Should be a De La Salle ball, I'd imagine. Yeah, it is indeed. Sawyer was definitely making sure she was taking that ball. Yeah, she, we've seen it so many times. Today, she's just so good at battling. Reads Amy Dooley very well there. Gotta get a dribble Dooley, and get a pass yeah. away, Amy. She nearly forgot she had the dribble there, I think. And it's gone out for a De La Salle ball. Very close to the eight seconds on that. Yeah. Indeed. But Sawyer has it. Ooh. Ooh. That's a hard foul. That's, that's allowed. Anne Roach. That was sent out over the, the line. And it's she's going actually to the free throw line. Yep. Yeah. Team fouls, as you said. And again, from what I believe, plays a bit of football as well. And she'd be well used to stuff like that. 
It wasn't a, a, a Made a, a stern foul. stuff down in Carlo. A tough foul is <laughs> what it was. And a good foul to put him on the line. Indeed, she doesn't manage to get them, but Dooley. You just can't give up that rebound after doing that much work. You know, I know to, to get away with it, but. McCarroll to McCreen. Oh, unlucky there for McCreener. Uh, that's smart. Just slow it down. Take a bit of time off the clock. You've got a 12, well, 10 point lead. Sawyer. Out to O'Neill. Back to Sawyer. Inside, no, across. Here comes the tree. To Roach. She's netted a few of them today, but that one just didn't fall for her. McCreener gives it to Sheridan, who just keeps it in play. Back to McCreener. Three point shot. Oh, unlucky. It's gone out over the end line for De La Salle. Ball. Clock hasn't stopped. Oh. They get it back. They, it's just been small things, hasn't it? For O'Neill. Great, oh, great score from O'Neill. Quiva O'Neill has, has been fantastic for her team today. Yeah, she really has. There's, as we said, there's so many for this Stella Sal team who've really stood out. 46 seconds. Donnelly, who's been playing well, just doesn't see that one fall for her as Sawyer gets it over the line. Down to O'Neill again. I think we might see a little bit of excitement from that big crowd across the gym there in a few minutes. Donnelly on the break. Clever enough, knocks it off. Neve Roach's leg for uh, her ladies ball, but 27 seconds to go and there's only one, one place I think that this title can go to. Donnelly, lovely score. She's Thanks been a really her. nice player for them today. Yeah, she's, she's a good shooter, she's, she's smart. She's a good player, just a good all-around player. Just got to get it over to half court and hold it up now. They don't even need to score. Dooley is going to go for the score and gets it. Step inside, left hand Lovely. Layup. Nice finish from Amy. And it's 10 seconds to go here, guys. 10 seconds for that crowd. To get absolutely hyper. McCreener. And there we go. It is all over. You probably did not even hear the buzzer there with the sound of the crowd. But presentation, Bagna Sound have won the under 19B All Ireland School Leagues final with a cracking win here, 39-27 over Our Ladies of Belfast. A great team display, superb effort from across the court, and a massive win for the school and for the coaching staff, Martin. Yeah, like you have to. Hold your hand up to uh, our ladies. They they played fantastic today. Uh, excellently coached by, by Paddy McGrahan. Um, you know, they, they, they gave everything they have, but there was just that little bit extra in the locker from De La Salle. They hit a couple of shots, kind of started the third quarter that pushed out their lead to six, seven points. And to be fair to them, they defended superbly well and never let our ladies back in the game after that. Um, great job by Megan and Kira and Leon and JB. Um, delighted for them. Second uh, All Ireland title in a week coming back to Carlo. Yeah, and it is Teresa Walsh, the president of Basketball Ireland, and Louise O'Loughlin of Basketball Ireland making the presentations up here on the podium. A spirited display from the Belfast side, some great performances from Kira and Warren McCreener, Louisa Donnelly. Evie McCarroll, there's just a good few names there now that they really put in the work. Sheridan there as well. Maeve Deary did well. She was unlucky to get fouled out, played really well. Indeed, yeah. Unlucky there, just to miss out in the end of the fourth quarter. But today, it is all about De La Salle of Bagnell Sound County Carlow. Another title, another basketball title making its way to the county, Martin. Yeah, uh, we're, we're enjoying them down pressure, there at the moment. Pressure's on you now to bring home a few more. Thanks very much, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go, the presentations of the medals to the winning team. And what a team they are. And Roach, captain, going up first. 
There's Amy Dooley, has done so well this game with the rebounding. Sawyer just behind her, two cracking players for this team. Yeah, it, like, but it, to be fair, it's been a team performance. Like players have stepped up, like our, our number 11, Quiva O'Neill, had a great game. Helen Roach came in, got a couple of baskets, a couple of rebounds when they needed it. Uh, you know, from all the way down the bench, those girls played together and played for each other and, and have done a great job. Uh, I wouldn't like to be picking an MVP in this game. That's going to be a tough decision. Oh, big time. I don't know how you'd pick it between rebounds and scoring and just setting up plays so well. There's a good few names that could go into that. And it'll be interesting to see who it is awarded to as the coach and staff go up there. Yeah, there goes Leon Power has been brilliant for the girls. And this will be a day he won't forget anytime yeah. soon. The smile from ear to ear. And here we go, the MVP. Where's it gonna go? Oh, Rachel Sawyer of De La Salle. What a fantastic player she's been today. Great job from Rachel Sawyer today. It's been fantastic for her team. Oh, she was at, covered every board of this course, Martin. What a fantastic award to go to her. She's, she doesn't know what to do with it. She doesn't know what to do. <laughs> that makes it all the more special, I think. <laughs> That'll be on Pride of Place, so on display in the Sawyer House. And Amy's gonna pick up another one of those in a couple of weeks time as well, I hope. Indeed. Good job, Amy. Well done, De La Salle. fantastic performance. All roads will be leading to Waterford for you, of course, Martin, but at the moment, we're in the arena. Two more games to go here. Two more brilliant games to go under 19A. Boys up next in a clash of the Rebel County, Cork versus Cork. And then we have the under 16A, a repeat of the cup final. And that's it for us here, folks. <laughs>